Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today's episode of Airport Outfits is all about Kai. <sighs> Kai. Where do we begin with Kai? Kai's beautiful. Kai's hot. Kai's sexy. The human Gucci. Like, Airport looks a fucking fierce and it lived up to the expectation. I was expecting a lot from Kai, so I'm excited to share the looks that he's been serving up. I upload videos here to my channel four times a week, so if you're not yet subscribed and you would like to be notified of my next fashion expert reviews, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. If you are new to Fashion Expert Reviews, Airport Outfits, let me explain how it works. I've got all of Kai's looks here on the iPad. I'm going to talk through designers, references, what I think of the outfit, and then I'm going to rate it out of 10 wings. Wings because they're at the airport. There. I've also linked some of the items and similar styles in the description box. So if you wanna check those out, they're there for you, no pressure. These are affiliate links. So if you do shop these links, I receive a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you. It's just a way to support my channel. So like I said, no pressure. Kai look number one, I am obsessed. Obsessed with this look. It is the perfect smart casual spring look. I'm definitely on a spring vibe at the moment. I'm like spring, yeah, spring. But it's just so good. It's just the proportions of it are amazing. The jacket, I love this jacket. It's this really beautiful beige color. It's a wool. It kind of has like a blankety vibe to it. Do you know what I mean? Like the fabric literally looks like they've got a blanket and made a jacket out of it in the best way in the best way. It looks so cozy. And I love this rope detail around the edge of the collar, the lapel, all the way around the jacket on the top of the pockets. It's just a really beautiful way to finish it. It looks luxurious. I mean, it is, it's Gucci, it's luxurious, but it looks luxe. The detail on the sleeve is really beautiful as well, where they've turned that sleeve back and then it looks like they've stitched that down, or it could be a panel in the sleeve where they've added that roping. It just looks, so good. We can see as well, it's a very relaxed, oversized kind of fit. We can see that that shoulder, the setting shoulder comes just past his natural shoulder, which has given me that relaxed, oversized fit. The color palette of this outfit is really great as well. The pink, the beige, the blue, it's very subdued, but very spring. It screams spring to me. Looking at the jean, I'm gonna say it's a slim fit jean. It looks like it comes up quite far in his waist. And then looking at the thigh to calf ratio, it still looks very in line. It's not too tight around his calf. It's been finished with a really nice pair of Chelsea boots. Great smart casual styling here. It's so good. I like the fact they've not put a belt on the jean. That's helping it to stay casual, if that makes sense. Like imagine if there was like a black belt on this outfit, it would suddenly look a lot more dressed up. The bag, of course, it's Gucci. It's Oh, it's a beautiful bag. It's really structured. We've got the Gucci monogram. We've got that Gucci, I think it's called like a horse bit, a horse bite, buckle detail. It's great. I would be scared to put anything in this bag because if it's spilled, if my snacks overflowed for the plane, I'll be pissed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give Kai look number one, 10 wings. I love this look so much. Honestly, this is like a dream look for me. I love that jacket. It looks luxe. The fit is beautiful. The pink, it's perfect. Kai look two, we've got this beautiful tonal gray look. At first, I thought this was a suit, but looking closely at the fabric of the jacket and the fabric of the trouser, they don't match. The fabric of the trouser is a dark charcoal gray, quite bluey toned, and it doesn't look like there's any kind of pattern or texture to it. Whereas if we look at a close up of the jacket, it looks like there's a very soft texture, almost like a check, but you can't really see it, if that makes sense. Look at the fabric here, look at it here. Do you see? Sometimes I feel like I'm just talking absolute bollocks. <laughs> Looking at the jacket here, I think it's more of like a classic tailored jacket than say a fashion jacket. And what I mean by like a fashion jacket is say the blazer from the previous look. This is a lot more tailored. We can see in this picture here that it is a peak lapel. And what this means is that where the collar comes down, the lapel comes out further. That is a peak lapel. It's a very traditional double-breasted jacket uh, where it's got the six buttons. That's very classic. We can see that it's got two pockets on one side, another 
element of traditional men's tailoring. What I love about this outfit is that the jacket is very traditional, but the way it's been styled is very contemporary. We can see that the jacket is an oversized fit. The shirt, the cuff is open and it's popping out. It's got this very like oversized, relaxed vibe about it. What I love about the shirt is that it's a Prince of Wales check, or you might see it online as a POW, P-O-W, Prince of Wales check. This is basically a gray check that has a blue and a red line running through it. You can see it in this picture here on the collar very clearly. Again, it's a very classic men's tailoring. The look has been finished off with a pair of charcoal gray wide leg trousers that have a double pleat. You can see the pleat really well here in this shot. And you can see that the belt loop sits slightly further down than the top of the trouser. So if you belt this, it's gonna give a really nice paper bag waist effect. And what that means is when it's belted, you see the fabric of the trouser sticking out above the belt. Kai styled the look with this amazing Gucci holdall. I love that pop of yellow on the handle. And then we've also got a pair of Gucci sneakers. The accessories are very casual. The bag has this very kind of like soft, like slouchy vibe to it unlike the structured bag in the previous look. This look is just technically brilliant, taking really traditional classic menswear pieces like that double-breasted six-button blazer, the POW, the POW, <laughs> the POW shirt, and then putting it with this contemporary cut of trousers, it just brings this look into the modern era. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I work at a museum. I have to give Kai look number two, 10 wings. For me, it's all of the brilliant technical details. It is very, very traditional classic men's tailoring, but he's made it so modern. And that for me is like what fashion and style is all about. I'm also finding it quite nostalgic because I used to be a menswear buyer for a very classic British brand. So, you know, all the talk of like peak lapels and six button double breasted blazers, it's just, Taking me back. Kai look three, how fucking hot does Kai look? I put all the looks on my laptop into folders and I give them names and I actually named this folder Hot Nerd. There is definitely like a nerdy vibe, but like he's like the nerd at school that you would wanna f Yeah. <laughs> I just think this is such a great casual outfit. We've got this oversized knit. There is definitely something like golf vibe about it with that check. I really love the fact we've got this low plunging V-neck and then we've got the striped shirt underneath. This is a print clash, but it's done so well. Like people are so scared of wearing stripes and checks, but here it just works so well. And I think it's because that stripe is just so soft underneath. Looking at the shirt collar as well, again, this is an element of very classic men's tailoring. This is a spread collar and it's called a spread collar because it comes back at an angle, so it's very wide. And when it's unbuttoned, it gives this really cool casual effect. I just think it's cool to appreciate the fact that he keeps taking very classic men's tailoring and is making it casual, he's making it cool. This look is cool. I really love that he's finished this look with a pair of washed slim fit jeans. I think they might be Gucci looking at the stripe on the hem right where the seam is. The bag is really great as well, that little pop of color. And it kind of ties into the jumper. Do you know what I mean? It goes with the jumper, but it's not like matching 100%. The thing I don't like is the trainers. And I'll just say that now. Personally, I just don't like them. There's too much going on. They're not my personal taste. If you've watched these videos before, you know I'm just here for like a plain, a good plain white sneaker. It works with the outfit, I'll give them that, but on a personal level, they're just not my vibe. I'm gonna give Kyluk number three 8.5 wings. I love this look. I love the fact he's taking classic men's tailoring again with that spread collar, bringing it into the contemporary era, my museum voice, but it's like this hot, nerdy look. I love it. I just don't like the trainers on a personal level. Kai look number four, we've got this amazing outfit. We've got this tweed blazer. This blazer has a notch lapel, and this basically means that the lapel comes out just as far as the collar, and you've got this notch shape here. It's a very standard shape of collar, basically. It's single-breasted, it's got two buttons. It's a very classic cut. It does look oversized, and again, that's what's giving it that contemporary styling. I actually really rate the simple styling of this outfit. We've got that black t-shirt in the crew neck, and then we've got this pair of wide leg trousers with that side tape detail. And he's finished it off with a pair of Converse. I can't tell if they're high tops or low tops. I'm not the biggest Converse fan, I'll admit that right now, but they look really good on the outfit. They look really good on him. And I love the fact he's holding that slouchy Gucci holdle again with that yellow handle. I love it when I see 
all of these idols re-wearing pieces. I hate like the pressure in fashion, like, oh, I can only wear this once or like, oh, I've worn this on Instagram. I can't post a picture in it again. It's stupid. Get over it. <laughs> I'm gonna give Kylip number four, nine wings. I really love the pared down styling. I love that oversized jacket. Again, he's bringing us classic traditional men's tailoring, but he's giving it a modern edge. The only reason I'm giving it nine wings is because the first two looks for me were really, really elevated. Like the styling, the technical details. Kai look number five. This look is giving me like pilot vibes. That's what it's giving me like pilot, military, air force. Do you see what I mean? Like, am I the only one? Am I talking bollocks? I said earlier, I feel like I'm talking bollocks. So <laughs> let me know. The fit of it is so cool. You can't go wrong with like a matching set. It's just so easy. You don't need to stress about what you're gonna wear it with. Oh, is it gonna match? No bitch, it's done for you, you match. What I really like about this outfit is that it's this like shirt jacket, shacket piece with the military pocket detail. You see this pocket a lot on like old military uniforms, that shape of the pocket flap, the fact you've got the pleats, it screams military. But then we can see that he's wearing a pink shirt underneath and it just gives this really cool layering effect. I really like the trouser as well, it's quite, I'm not gonna say wide, it's probably more like a straight fit, but it's cropped right at the ankle. And then we've got these really beautiful pair of Gucci loafers that kind of contrast against the rest of the outfit where they're black, white, green, and red, but it just works so well. We can see as well, he's got a Gucci backpack. We can see the monogram, the leather details, a great piece. I just think it's such a fantastic look, like the gold buttons. But ultimately this look has like, tailoring elements to it, it has military references, but it also just looks comfy as fuck. Like you're gonna be so comfy on the plane in this, so I love. I'm gonna give Kylip number five, 10 wings. I love it, I love the color, I love the gold button, the military references, the details of the pockets, the seaming, it's just so amazing. Our final Kylip, Kylip number six, we've got this fantastic green and navy tartan jacket. I love the fact he's paired up this all black outfit underneath so that tartan and the color of the tartan can really do the talking. I just feel like the accessories with this outfit don't go. I love the bag. The bag has this really cool like vintage doctor's bag shape. It has a really nice buckle on it that we can see here, like the handle. It looks luxe, expensive, fantastic. To me, it just doesn't go. All of the colors are very dark, very cool toned blues and greens. So to me, like a tan brown bag, it just doesn't go with the outfit. But again, that's just personal taste. I know people love brown accessories and wear them with everything, but for me, black, black, black would have been best. To me, it looks like he's wearing a pair of skinny jeans and I'm gonna say skinny because you can see that they're really tight on the thigh and they continue to taper down to the ankle. Compared to the other jeans that we've seen him wearing in this video that are a slim cut, you can see quite a big difference in the fit around the ankle. It looks like he's turned them up and then put them on with the black shoe. I like the shoe, but again, I question whether it really goes with the outfit. I love the fact that it's giving it this smart casual vibe, but I don't know. I just don't know if the shoe looks right. Maybe it's the fact that he's wearing the shoe without like a visible sock. Maybe that's what's throwing me off. The idea of the outfit is great and the colors minus the bag are really good. I'm just not sold on the shoe or the bag. I think that's what kind of like pulls this look down. It still looks great, but me personally, I would be carrying a different bag and I'd have a different pair of shoes on. I'm gonna give Kai look number six, our final Kai look, 7.5 wings. I really love the jacket and I love the way he's paired it with an all black outfit underneath. Just personally, I don't think the shoes or the bag go with it. I would have gone for a black bag. Like imagine that bag in black. Oh my God, beautiful. I think for me in my personal style where I'm quite tall, if I wear a pair of trousers that are very skinny and they come really skinny down to the ankle and then I've got quite a sleek skinny shoe on like this, to me, it just looks a bit strange. I think if it was like a clunkier shoe, a heavier shoe, imagine like a double soled loafer. I think it just would have helped with the proportions a little bit. Kai's style is absolutely amazing. He looks so good in everything. Bitch. <laughs> My favorite looks are definitely the first two looks. Like I said, the first look 
is a dream look, you know, 11 wings. If that were possible, I'm not gonna break my own rating system. Let me know in the comments what your favorite look is, but what you should do next is check out my Fashion Expert Reviews playlist. I'll leave a little card in the top screen here for you guys. But thank you so, so much for watching and thank you to everyone who has subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.